Yo, what's up guys, it's the number one Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is an SVU Chem Strike, or an AS8, I don't know how you say it, whatever. SVU AS, I think it's called. Um, Marksman Rifle Chem Strike, this isn't a gun you see too often. Um, I've only seen a few people that I watch or know get a gameplay like this before, so it's kind of unique. Well, not really unique, it's only a, a different gun, but it's something you don't see every day in other words, but... Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm using a thermal hybrid and the uh, suppressor on this gun. Two really good attachments in use that are really good for this gun actually. Um, the science is actually relatively good. Um, for some reason it does seem to throw my aim off a bit. Although my aim isn't the best in this gameplay, I'm not going to hide that. But um, the flash suppressor would be another good attachment to use instead of the science if you want to go all out guns blazing. But the thermal hybrid is definitely a attachment I would recommend you guys using because it seems to be remain keep its accuracy or it, it maybe even improve its accuracy, especially with the little uh, or the zoomed in red dot, which is a really good attachment that keeps your aim on track for the most part. Anyway, so drop a like greatly if you enjoyed this gameplay in the background or you enjoy the get commentary that I'm going to be talking about. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is something a little different. It's it's a commentary that one of my friends called Aero the Hunter has done before. I'm going to credit him just in case he watches this and think I've copied him or whatever. But I was going to do his commentary anyways, but his um, commentary topic or whatever um, relating towards this reminded me to do it. So I'm going to throw his link to that video in the description if you're interested in checking that out. So um, basically what I'm going to be talking about is the book of your life story. Okay, so imagine that you, a mysterious person came up to you. Um, you was on your own, in in a room, on your own, and a, a wise man, or a mysterious man, obviously, because you won't know him, but he turns out to be a wise man. He ends up giving you a book, and it's completely unused, it's got no title or anything, you have no idea where it is. You take it home, and you start reading it, and you read it, and it seems a bit odd, it seems really, really familiar. Firstly, it's going to start off with your birthday, and... It's going to have the exact date, the exact time, the exact uh, location you was born in, all the details and stuff like that, which, you know, it could happen to anyone. But then you start reading through, and there are events that happen throughout the years of your life so far. You then come to the conclusion that this book is indeed about your life, and all the events that have happened are completely accurate. So you continue reading, and then eventually you, get, you will get to the point in the book where you are on the bit where you are now. You're reading the book, it says in the book that you will be reading this book. And here comes the question that I will pose to you guys. Do you, uh, would you read on or not? Would you read the rest of your life? Would you read till the very, very end? Because that way you'll be able to see your future and what will happen. Maybe you'll be able to change it, maybe you won't, but I'm asking you guys, leave down in the comments down below, what do you think? What will you do? Will you carry on reading the book or will you just live your life how it was? at the very start. But that's it for the commentary. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Please drop a like rating and comment down your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and peace.